Our goal was never monetary. Just can we find awesome teams that we can back and let them live their dreams? It was almost like a our way of giving back for what we had done and and you know what my father had achieved because the initial capital was not mine, and that's why we did it by saying, okay, here's X amount of capital. Go and do something. Live your dreams. Here. We didn't care about regulation or anything. I didn't do it to make money, right? The whole objective was to fund deserving entrepreneurs. And like in life, you do the right thing; it benefits you in the long run. And our goal was never monetary. Just can we find awesome teams that we can back and let them live their dreams? It was almost like a our way of giving back for what we had done and and you know what my father had achieved. Because the initial capital was not mine. And that's why we did it by saying, "Okay, here's X amount of capital. Go and do something. Live your dreams here." Yeah, it's it's a dream that the entrepreneur has that he or she brings to you, and translates that into what he he or she feels is now going to become a large business or a, or a real business for that matter. To get large, and if, if we buy into that vision of the entrepreneur, is when we say, "Okay, this is the kind of founder we want to deal with," and I, I believe in his or her vision to build something amazing. Here is the capital to do it. It's only about a story in the early days. It's only people that make any business. Could it be a a venture capital fund like K or the largest company in the world? It could be Exxon or whatever. It's only the people that make up K because the culture is driven by the ones that work in the organization. It obviously starts with me being the founder of the firm. But frankly, founders can only do so much, right? It's the people that you have around you. that make the decisions that matter beyond the early years when founders are making most of the decisions nowadays k can run easily without me being in the room and that's what i'm most happy about you know in the investment business cannot be judged in one year good or bad and i believe that um, you you have to look at case performance from day one to today and we believe you're quite happy with the performance Uh, we believe it done very well. Are we satisfied? The answer is obviously no. But if you are satisfied, then you are dead. So we believe we should run even better, and we should have a higher bar for ourselves, which we continue to do, so that we can get even better. Our goal is to always be in the top decile of funds that uh, are raised in that particular year when we do it. And therefore, we have been happy to note that you'll be happy to know that we've been in top decile fund returns in any fund we raised so far, and that goal will continue for any new funds as well. We're very excited about 2023. We believe it's a great time to invest. Uh, lots of great companies are going to be built in this period of strife, and we're going to be very active in 2023. So we're very, very eagerly looking forward to it. Sense that you know when the sanity in the market is a good time to invest versus when there's insanity, and therefore we're getting fairer valuations. Founders are building frugally responsible companies. You don't need X dollar anymore. They can do it. Do make do with far less. Not. uh you know lots of uh, let's say uh, initiatives that in the hot market you try to do a little bit of everything all that is eliminated your unit economics are being built in the right way i'm not saying go make money for me tomorrow morning so i believe a lot of the right things to build a business the right way ways are now inculcated in these markets and we've seen that in our history of k when we funded entrepreneurs in these um, periods of strife as i call them these companies are always turn out to be the better cohort of companies we fund ever So therefore, twenty twenty three, I'm very excited about. Live your life the way you you believe uh, you want to live. Right? Live on your terms, but don't come on, don't step, don't uh, step on others' toes. So it's a fine line, right? Like I want to do exactly what I want, but do I really want to step on someone else's toes to do that?